What does $3 million get you in Lakewood Ranch? Let's take a look. Hey, today we are in Star Farms at the John Cannon model. Now, as it sits, it's almost $3 million, but that includes the furniture, which I don't know if that makes it better. <laughs> it's still $3 million, but it is an absolutely gorgeous home. And look what they do with the windows, the windows throughout the home, not towards the street, but inside the home. And there's also a really cool spot. It's a casita or a guest room, but it's actually attached to the house. So you can actually see and walk in very easily here. So the great mother-in-law suite, a casita, as they say, on the east side of Florida. Uh, but this is the west side of Florida, so we call it sometimes a mother-in-law suite. Anyway, it's beautiful. Let's take a look. As I said before, here is the map that we're going to go over with everything when it comes to John Cannon homes. Now, John Cannon, as I said before, you saw the video, you saw the drone footage, the he, they build a fantastic house. They really do. And you can make it custom. So if you want to change this, change that, you can certainly do that. So looking at the map here, this is the map of what we cover. This is oasisgroupfl.com. This is our website. It's a totally free non hassle website you don't have to put your name and number and email address and everything else if you want to talk to us just hit this down here at the right down at the bottom right and that will start the chat now the original chat will be a bot 
and then after that it'll be me so <laughs> don't worry just reach out and does it doesn't matter whether you're moving here in two days or two years we're here to help make a smooth move uh but anyway let's go back to here and here's where we have a map of everything now what we have here is this is the area so you can build this in multiple different areas. John Canyon, you can build it in multiple areas, very, very high end um, neighborhoods. So here's where Star Farms is. That's where I took the video and the drone footage. It's in Star Farms, but you're going to you're going to have a mixed neighborhood in this Star Farms. You're going to have lots of homes that are like 800,000, a million, some as low as 600,000 mixed in with two, three, four, five million dollar houses. So it's really a truly mixed neighborhood and it is a fantastic neighborhood. Don't get me wrong, I'm not suggesting otherwise. It's gonna have four different areas for uh, community. It's gonna have four different huge um, facilities, um, none of which are built yet, but that's to your benefit because as soon as uh, amenities are built, the price usually goes up because it's easier to sell. All right, so Star Farms and then we have the Lake the Lake Club, which is extremely, you know, just very, <laughs> very high end. You've got the lead singer of the Rolling Stones who lives in that uh, neighborhood. Uh, I'm sure one of hundreds of homes that he owns around the world, but he does own a home there and shows up there periodically. Um, and that's the Lake Club, very prestigious club right there. And also they, they're gonna build it Wild Blue and Wild Blue is gonna be right here. Um, and then they also have Waterside. So all those those four places they're gonna build and each one of those neighborhoods, the, the bottom three down here, extremely fantastic neighborhoods, very prestigious. Lake Club being certainly the most. Waterside and Wild Blue is gonna be a part of the, wi wi um, the Waterside community, which is the new up and coming uh, part of Lakewood Ranch. Now, Lakewood Ranch is awesome because Lakewood Ranch, by statute, by law, has to have 40% of all of its land, either as a preserve, it green, basically, it has 40% has to be green. So it's a pre-planned community, meaning you're going to have 40%, whether it be water, preserve, which is you can't be built on, it's like natural, um, or greenery. So it's wide open spaces. Um, the houses aren't, they don't have huge lots. It's not like up north where you can get like a five acre lot. I mean, you can, but you're going to pay dearly for that. Um, but they're always situated in such a way that you can actually, you don't see your neighbors nine times out of 10. So, um, you know, Waterside does it right. I personally live in Waterside with my family, love it. Um, it's really, um, it's a great neighborhood, but um, you can build it in four different places here. So um, just to give you an understanding, here is the local hospital, uh, world renowned hospitals all around here, here and here. Um, and then, so that's health, food. <laughs> We've got Trader Joe's. We've got Whole Foods. Uh, Whole Foods is big. Uh, we also have great shopping. We've got an outlet mall right up here, up north. You've got Costco, you've got BJ's. I mean, you've got all the things available to you. You also have right here, you also have the UTC mall, which is an extremely high-end mall with great restaurants, very high-end um, and great anchor stores, but really nice, great restaurants. Um, you are a half an hour away from the airport, the airport's right there. So we'll give you the lowdown on the airports. So Tampa airport is what everyone knows about. Sarasota airport is what the locals know about. So you are wherever you are at in the four neighborhoods right here, wherever you're at, you're going to be 30 to 35 minutes from the minute you leave your driveway to the minute you drive into the airport. So that's gonna be key. So when you go to Tampa, which has more direct flights and has more flights in general, you're gonna be about an hour and a half away, but you have to anticipate traffic because remember, Tampa airport is above Tampa. So we're below Tampa, Sarasota area, Lakewood Ranch is below Tampa. So you're gonna have to go past all of the Tampa proposed, you know, like projected traffic and go to the airport. So you've got to give yourself at least two hours. Now, here's the funny part. When you park, when you park at the Tampa airport, it takes you, it takes you a half an hour from going literally from 
parking your car to going through security is a half an hour. If you go to Sarasota airport, it's from your house to security is a half an hour. So it's worth a little bit extra money that you're going to pay for Sarasota. It might even be worth the connection that you might have to go through. But I'm telling you, I only fly out of Sarasota unless I can find a really cheap flight that's absolutely direct. Otherwise, it's always Sarasota airport. So also, you are 45 minutes away from Siesta Key. So Siesta Key is fantastic. Got the best beaches in the world, as you know. It's either number one, number two in the United States, top five in the in the world on beaches. And it, the cool thing about uh, Siesta Key is it, the sand isn't really sand, it's quartz. So as hot as it gets, you, it's never going to be hot to the touch. It's the sand is never going to burn your feet. And like I come up, I come from up north where you would go to the beach there and you would run at the top of top speed to get from the sand all the way to the water so you can pull off your feet because I was too lazy to put on flip flops when I was a kid. So anyway, uh, I think you'll you'll love that. And here's the thing that uh, every no one talks about until you get here. And this area is Saint Armand Circle. That is a really cool high-end cafe. It's a, it's literally a circle that you walk around. It's got high-end cafes. It's got fantastic restaurants and little boutiques. It's really neat. And you get to see like sometimes some really famous people there. So it's uh, it's neat, but the restaurants. And so what we do as a family, we say, hey, what do you want for dinner? And we argue, there's four of us, uh, you know, our two kids, and we argue what we want. We just say, let's go to St. Armand's. And so in the 45 minutes to like 35 minutes it takes to drive to St. Armand's, you're literally negotiating on what you're going to eat because you have everything there. There is every type of restaurant there and there is no bad restaurant in St. Armand's. So we would negotiate and figure out where we're going to eat. And then at the last minute, uh, my wife tells us where we're going to eat. So <laughs> happy wife, happy life. Um, also, um, Longboat Key is right here. So anything on the barrier islands is going to be beautiful. And that's going to be about 45 minutes away. Um, but again, you're right next to 75. 75 is right there. 75 is a main artery of Florida. So it gets you to anywhere you need to be very fast. So you are for Disney. And a lot of people go to Disney around here a lot. And Disney is a great Thing for Florida because because of Disney and Universal Studios and Miami and tourism, we don't have state income tax. So that is a big, big deal. So um, you are about an hour and 45 minutes away from the Disney parks and about two hours away from Universal Studios. And it's, I know it sounds weird when I say this, it's a quick two hours. Uh, meaning there's very little traffic on 75. On four, you might get some traffic. Uh, but it's quick in and out. So you're going to take 70, you're going to take 75, which is a mile or two away, 75 all the way up to four and then go right. And you are right there in Orlando. So two hours from Orlando, about three hours, three and a half hours from Miami um, and about an hour away from Tampa. And you've got clear water and you've got all these other cool places. So it is really, really neat. And it's, it's a great place to live and it's a great place to raise your kids. And it's just super nice. And um, we, we couldn't be happier. So we are so glad that we moved here over 10 years ago and we would never move. So if we can help you in any way, shape or form, whether you're going to move here in like two days or even two years, it doesn't matter. Reach out. You can call us, text us. We work 24 seven. You can go on our website, oasisgroupfl.com. Again, we don't force you to sign up or anything. Just go to the right here and you can click on this and it'll take you to a chat bot and I will answer all your questions. So anyway, until next time, if you could do us a favor, if this is the first time on the channel, if you can click and subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. It really helps us with this and uh, see you on the next video. Have a good one, guys.